Could start a combo, Nair sends him back. Fair Dow spiking him straight down. Duffy at 110%, but still has a chance. Those are the sounds of game day for the SNHU Penman Varsity Esports team. Uh, so we're undefeated right now, 5-0. and um, Just won our game last night, 2-1. and So, yeah, it's, it's been pretty exciting so far. That's Alec Volante. He goes by snare when he's competing. I'm just able to meet with a lot of different people that are inter have the same sort of interests um, and just able to like really focus on developing the skill, getting better at something. Um, and it just gives me like an avenue to compete basically. His teammate, Zachary Buzzle, or Zoned, says that esports is intense and good players have to put in the time and dedication to rise above their competitors. I mean, we have practices four to five days a week for two to three hours. We practice against other schools across the country um, around the same skill or sometimes even better than us to try and see how good we can get. And uh, I mean, it's just a it's it's just like regular sports. I mean, you're just you're practicing as much as you can. The similarities to their other collegiate sports teams don't end there. You do get nervous, though, because especially when we're, we're streaming and stuff to like an audience, you know, there are people watching. So you want to look you kind of want to look good on camera. So what does it really take to be a college level esports athlete? Dedication, uh, focus, and and self-criticism. Timothy Fowler is the director of esports at SNHU. He founded the program in 2018, and it's grown since then and reaches beyond the varsity athletes. Denial by J Rock. That bounced back. That could have just been in for Snoo right away. We put our li our matches live on Twitch, um, and we have commentators for them, and we have students who run the entire thing. Uh, and then separately, we have some academic integration. So we have courses where like sports management students are learning about the business of esports. Uh, and they're getting kind of integrated with the pro program and running events and doing tournament organization. The team plays six games and is looking to add a seventh. Tim says that due to the high level of knowledge and skills required, the players each specialize and focus on one game. I think that the amount of the amount of uh, focus that is required for esports is pretty high. A lot of people think, well, they just sit and play video games all day. Um, isn't necessarily true. We do a lot of those VOD review and, and uh, communications reviews um, and constantly trying to really focus on getting better identifying skills that we need to learn in order to get better um, and not just kind of mindlessly pressing buttons. Both Alec and Zach say that they see a future in esports that goes beyond their college career. You're seeing a lot more investment, um, lots of like big investors getting into it, trying to make teams, uh, recruit people. So, I mean, and like furthermore, like collegiate esports is growing. Almost everybody is starting to have teams there. So that's super exciting for me to see. Uh, I eventually want to work in the field, hopefully in social media. The Helix Spartans Esports Academy is located at the rinks in Exeter, and it's on a mission to introduce the world of competitive esports to a younger generation. That there are a lot of kids that may not have the passion for ice hockey or soccer or basketball, but they have a passion for esports. And I think it's time for us as adults, educators, parents, to realize that you should embrace and try and help promote uh, the kids' advancement in this particular, particular arena, particularly because technology is our future. Eight to 18 year olds gather at the academy to practice and compete four nights a week. Ian Supernaut is the captain of the Rocket League team. So it's a lot similar to soccer. Um, it's basically just soccer, except you are playing in a car and you're trying to score, and that can be played um, when you're playing on your own with one other person against, or you can play in twos, or you can play in sets of threes. As a captain, I kind of go in and take that leadership role and help advance the team to become the best they can be. And that involves going over replays and coaching the players um, so that we can take that next step forward and become even better. Evan Gregory is a seventh grader from Hopkinton who plays for the Spartans Fortnite team. It's just a really fun game because you get a build and it's just good mechanical skills, especially um, if you like like building and... <laughs> 
um, yes, I am a very competitive person, so I, I really do like competing in tournaments. Part of the Helix model is to put these centers in traditional sports settings, all in an effort to integrate their athletes with the local sports community. I want to give these athletes a chance to come out in the community, to be coached, to be part of a team, to be something more than just a solo player, and to be in physical contact. Esports is the great equalizer. When you look at everything across the board, it doesn't matter your race, your religion, your gender, your political preference, your economic status. You can actually perform at your skill level in a game against players across the world, and you're measured on your talent and how you do at that particular moment. Okay, there's... Taking things from the digital field to the digital stage, Evan Clinton has been exercising his acting chops by streaming his video game playing. Woohoo! Yes! I rocked that rock! Oh, I popped the Smurf! Oh my gosh! Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, hey, 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 hey. Really? So when folks are watching me, they can expect a lot of that zaniness and unpredictability. Evan spends his summers on the water of Lake Winnipesaukee as a captain for Mount Washington Cruises. But he's also an actor and he's been a gamer ever since he got a Super Nintendo for Christmas at the age of five. Even as a lifelong recreational gamer, Never would I have ever thought that there was actually an audience for it. Evan loves an audience and first dipped his toes into streaming in 2017. I game, I act, I can try to be entertaining, I can do this, this could be fun. And, you know, maybe even lucrative someday. <gasps> He currently streams on Twitch, Facebook Live, and posts recorded video gameplay on YouTube. It's more on-camera experience. It's only going to help my acting and vice versa. All these elements coming together has just been absolutely fantastic.